Dysplasia is a pre-malignant chain recognized by a loss in the uniformity of individual cells and their architectural orientation. Mild Dysplasia in mild dysplasia, one third of the epithelium is altered, involving the basal and the parabasal cell layer. The affected cells exhibit hyperchromatic and slightly pleomorphic nuclei. Moderate dysplasia Two thirds of the epithelium is altered from the basal cell layer to the midpoint of the spinous layer. While in moderate dysplasia, you'll observe hyperchromatic pleomorphic nuclei and cellular crowding. Severe dysplasia In severe dysplasia, the epithelium is altered from basal cell layer to a point above the midpoint of epithelium. While you'll observe marked pleomorphism, hyperchromatism with a few scattered mitotic figures and atypical cells. Carcinoma in situ In carcinoma in situ, there is involvement of the entire epithelium with the basement membrane still intact. It exhibits all the cellular features associated with malignancy, but there is no invasion through the basement membrane as there is still no breach in the basement membrane. Listed here are a few noxious stimuli that may cause disruption in the normal cell cycle or result in dysplastic changes that may keep progressing if not removed timely. If the previously mentioned causative factors persist, dysplasia may progress from its mild form to the severe versions, as shown below. Ultimately, a breach in the basement membrane causes the cells to metastasize through lymphatic channels to distant sites. Here we have covered dysplasia, its types and progression.